Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Note 5's Air Command feature on any device. Now you know Samsung's always got a trick or two up its sleeve when it comes to little added features, and last year's Galaxy Note 5 was no different. One of those bonus features was a utility called Air Command, which is basically a floating bubble that gives you quick access to handy tools and common functions. Well, of course, Air Command relies on the TouchWiz framework, which means it can't really be ported to other devices. But developer Grace Fang took a different approach and instead simply recreated Air Command as an app that will install on any device. To get this one going, you'll just need to have unknown sources enabled in your phone settings under security. Aside from that, head to step one in my full tutorial where you can grab a copy of the recreated Air Command APK. Once you've done that, just have to download complete notifications to get things going. Then from here, press install. When that's finished, you're almost ready to try out Air Command, but there's just a little bit of setup that you'll need to do first. So go ahead and launch the app, then you'll be greeted by a setup guide, which you can skip over. From here, once you've made it to the main menu, you've got five different themes that you can pick for the floating bubble. And all you have to do to apply one is just tap it. When you're done with that, tap the start button at the bottom of the screen, then the settings menu will close and you'll see the main air command interface. Now there's three different ways that you can interact with this bubble. You can tap it at any time to head to your home screen and you can double tap it to view your recent apps. But the most interesting part happens when you long press the floating bubble. From here, you'll see four extra options and they each represent a different utility. The first one captures a screenshot, the second one opens a notepad, the third shows your recent apps, and the fourth gives you quick access to your favorite apps. The first and third should be self-explanatory, so I'll show you the other two. For starters, the note-taking interface is really handy. You can just bring this up on top of any screen, then jot down a quick note, which is definitely cool. Then the favorite apps menu will need a little setup at first, but basically once you bring it up, you just have to tap the plus button to add some of your favorite apps, then you'll be able to quickly launch them from any screen. So it's a handy utility, and the best part is, you don't even need TouchWiz to try it out. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.